In the last video, we have seen how we can do web scrapping and uh, we have combined some countries in one table like India, Pakistan and US population. So in this video, we will do the second part. So let me show you the website again. So here you can see we have uh, different countries population, right? So for example, if I click China and uh, then I need to know that uh, different like uh, cities, the population of the cities. And uh, now the requirement is we need to go each country and uh, then we have to count the average population uh, in that country according to the city. So we will take the average of all the population of all the cities and then we will display that average in front of the country right so let's do it uh, step by step so for this we need to copy this china population link and uh, then go to the power query editor here we have to click and uh, new query and web and uh, let me paste the link and click OK. So here we have to choose the table 6 because it contains all the cities for the selected country. This is China. So I need to click and then I click OK. We are interested in population. So we need to make a list of uh, population. So how we will do, how we, how we can make the list out of the table. So for this, we need to click the FX and here we have to write bracket and the name of the column that is population. That's it and click confirm. So this is a list that contain the population for the selected country. So I need now the average so how we will do the average because this is a list so then we have to use a function in the list that is list dot average list dot average and we need to close it and then we have to confirm so this is the average population per city. Let's go to the view and go to the advanced editor. So we need to write a function that will take the query string like here it is China. And if I write here like India and then we have to click done. So here you can see now it is 172 right 172 to 9723 so we need to write a function go to the advanced editor and here we have to write one function here just like put it in the prior uh, video so it is like a country name as text and uh, what we have to return as number and uh, then the lambda sign that's it and we have to click okay so we need to use the country name parameter here we don't need to write the query string manually every time uh, this part so it will be and sign paste and end so that's it so we need to click done so now we can write here for spell let me write here um, china dash population invoke and here you can see the population for the china 
and the same way like uh, if I do uh, US and click confirm so this is the population for the US right so the function is ready and uh, now we need to make a table that will contain all the uh, query strings so that we don't need to write everything manually so how we will create that table for this i need to again go to the go to this uh, website and this time i need to take this uh, link the population by country so that i can grab all the countries here so copy and uh, then we have to go to the web scrapping query editor and uh, new query web and control c control v because our function is ready and uh, now we need to prepare one table that will have all the parameters that, that we were passing manually so we will, we will prepare a table that will contain all those things for example the table one so this table contain the countries right so this is the required table we just need to click yes and click ok so we are interested in this uh, column so we need to right click and remove other columns and uh, here if, if you look here you can see the India or the United States so there is US dash population India dash population so we need to uh, create a new column here uh, add column and uh, then I need to write custom column and uh, here I have to write here for example countries countries link this is the column name and uh, here the first thing we need if the if there is any space like uh, united state or any country uh, united kingdom and we have seen most of the time if there is a space they have uh, replaced this space with a uh, dash here you can see the first letter of every country is capital so we need to make everything small so how we can do this there is a function called text dot lower and uh, here we have to close it right and uh, then we have to write here one more function like uh, replace we need to put some space here and then so that the intelligence should work so it's a replacer dot replace text so it will take a couple of parameters the first parameter is the original string here the second parameter is the old as text that which text we we want to replace so this is the space and uh, the third parameter will be the dash so this is one thing so now we have uh, spaces we have dash if there is any space in the country name and uh, all the letters will be small and then we have to write one more and sign and dash like India dash population for example and here you can see and uh, population small letter so it will be instead of space it will be dash so that's it so now we need to click ok so here you can see this is the new column that contain country like China population India population and if you see um, for example Saudi Arabia so Saudi Arabia so here you can see if there is a space 
so we have dash instead of space right so we need to so because we are interested in this uh, column country link so we need to remove this column because we don't need it and remove it and here you can see the country link so we need to just uh, delete this import function uh, this is the function that is returning us um, the average value so here you can see city like uh, fn city average so this is the name of a function and here the table name is countries this is the name of the table that contain all the uh, parameters so now we need to run this function for every row right so this uh, fn city average will run for this one this one this one and then it will fetch the value for every row right so for this we need to click here the invoked function uh, add column and here is the uh, invoked custom function so we need to click here and uh, here you can write like a country country name and uh, then we need to choose the function query so this is the function fn city average and the the table of the this is the table like country link so we have to choose the column for for that table and uh, then we have to click okay uh, before clicking okay because it's a very very big table it's contain like 235 rows and it will take uh, a lot of time so we need to limit uh, like we 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 can write um, maximum like 10 or records for this demo because what we don't need to wait uh, like uh, three or four minutes depending on the speed of your internet and your computer so for this i need to uh, we have to write here one more function here it's a table dot first n so like we are interested in 15 for example 15 countries the first 15 countries and then we we have to click here uh, confirm we, we need to cl click confirm here you can see we got 15 countries so now we need to click the invoked function and here we have to write the name of the con uh, column so countries countries name and uh, then the function query is fn city average this is the name of the column country link and then we have to click okay we got this result so here you can see we are getting the average population per city for each country so you have seen here uh, we got the error message in the united states population the reason is if you go to the if we go to the website and the united states if you mouse over the uh, united states you will see it is a uh, us dash population but uh, in the power query editor here the name of the query string is united dash state dash population that's why we are getting this error message right if you see here if you click here and uh, you will see uh, the the link worldometer.info and then we united dash state dash population so we were unable to retrieve because this link doesn't exist so th that's how you are getting the 4404 error so you can change or you can just replace if there is a if there is united state then it should then then it should be replaced with us dash population so you have seen how easy it is to do the web scraping with the help of Power Query. So if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. And if you have any question, please write.
write in the comment section. Thank you.